Okay, so the way that we dress a mule is typically the process is called from back to front. So the first piece of gear that we're going to put on the mule is going to be their saddle. Now in all equine handling, you always work from the left side of your animal, and that is how they're trained, and that is the most appropriate way, whether you're riding or driving an animal. So you stand on the left-hand side of your mule. You're gonna put your saddle, you've got your girth here. It just slides over the top of the back until your saddle is sitting right in the middle. You bring your britches over and you set them right over the rump of the mule. Make sure this is sitting just right behind the withers. It's gonna slide back a little bit uh, after you put them on the carriage and you start driving for the day. So I like to get mine just right up next to the back of the withers there. Now you have two straps on your saddle. One strap is to hold your saddle to the girth. The other strap is, called, is for your stirrup or your shaft holder. You don't want to attach your stirrup to your girth. All right, so you've got, so you've got two buckles down here. You wanna make sure that you have your girth strap. And on some saddles, that's fairly easy because your girth strap is the square buckle and the square end piece of leather. So you attach your girth, you pull it up tight. Now, equines in general have a tendency to suck in their air a little bit when you first put their saddle on and then later on they'll let it out. And what'll happen is you'll realize that your saddle is much too loose from when you originally put it on. So before we finish, when we're done dressing, we're gonna check the saddle again and see if we need to tighten up that hurt. Now, in your stirrup, or your shaft holder goes on to the next one. This does not have to be super tight, all right, because it's gonna hold the shaft of the carriage. You don't want that shaft right up against the side of your animal. So you've got your saddle on. And then the next thing, that you're going to put on is you're going to put on your breast pull. So you've got the top part here, the pad that's going to sit just behind their withers. And the way that you need to do this is you basically need to hold your breast pull apart like this. It's got to go over the top of your mule's head. Slide it over their ears. Now remember, your lead rope's going to be in the way, so you're going to have to unhook that and rehook it. You don't want to leave your your animal untied at any time because if they decide to bolt away or they become spooked for any reason, and the gate is open, they can run out into the street. So you always need to make sure that you have your animal securely tied up while you're dressing. Undressing, grooming, or washing. So once your breast pull is on, it's very simple. It just sits just like this. And here is that tug that I was telling you about, or the trace. It goes between the animal and that shaft holder. And you can just hook it to this D-ring back here for the time being. And you want to do that on both sides. Then you can put the head stall on. Now, the simplest way to do this is you think of it as a catcher's mitt or catcher's mask, just like in baseball. It's just going to sit right over the top of your mule's head. You've got to put the bit in their mouth. Now, sometimes animals or equines can be a little difficult about accepting the bit. But with a little bit of practice, you'll become very good at uh, working with them and getting them to take the bit in their mouth. So you just want to set the head stall over the top of their face like this to begin with. Grab the bit 
your fingers like this. Hold it up to their lips and basically ask them to accept it into their mouth. And then just, you want to push the head skull as far back as you can for the top of both ears and then pull the ears out like this. So you've got your blinders and your headband in the front and then you have the second piece over the back of the ears like that. This is your check line. It's a safety device. It attaches to your saddle. It always has to be attached when you are driving your animal. Your chin strap gets buckled underneath. This typically is done to hold the head stall on the mule's head, but it doesn't have to be really tight. Remember, mules have extremely long ears, so their head stalls are almost completely held on by how large their ears are, but this still has to be buckled. Leave a, you know, two to three fingers at least between the bottom of their chin and their chin strap because when they move, that chin strap is going to come out. The last piece of equipment that you put on is your diaper bag. You always want to put this on last, right before you leave the yard, because a lot of times the mules like to uh, do their business uh, before they leave the yard, and that's going to require you to clean out your diaper bag before you even get out on the street. So always do your diaper bag very last. It's very simple. I'm going to come a little bit closer here. Your diaper bag has a series of snaps on it. You put this, if the snaps, if you hold the diaper bags, uh, the diaper bag like this, so the snaps are facing you, put them, un put the snaps, put this part underneath the, the britches, fold it over, and it matches up to the other side of the snap. You snap it together. And then you wanna grab the mule's tail and you pull that U-shaped part up under their tail. Now you, it needs to be snug, but you don't want it so tight that it's gonna cause a sore on the underneath of the tail area. So snug enough that it's going to catch the manure if they decide to take a dump, but also not so tight that you cause them a sore and distress. The nylon strap goes through the middle ring where your britches come together at the top of the rump, through this D-ring here, and however you tie it, is up to you. I like to do a little one half hitch in it. It makes it much easier to untie it at the end of the day. So I just bring it underneath that first nylon strap. I make a loop like this, pull it tight. And then it's real easy to undo if you're out at the square and you need to dump your bag or whatever. And there you go. Your mule is dressed. All right, the last piece of equipment that you put on are your lines. In horseback riding, they are called reins. In carriage driving, they're called lines. Two pieces of leather. Now, on the Liverpool bit, you basically have two settings. You have this, the, the two rings that you can attach to. The majority of us are going to attach it to this top ring up here. This is for a mule that is maybe a little bit dip more difficult to drive or hard in the mouth, but this is tend to, tends to be unnecessary. You've got your curb chain down here, and this works as a, le a lever. When you pull back on your lines, the curb chain comes up and helps direct the mule in the direction that you want it to go. So you bring your line through that, that top circle of the Liverpool bit, just connect it. The end, then the, you take the end, you put it through the ring on your breast pull, 
and the ring on your saddle. And then you just pull it through and just loop it up loosely and put it over the top of your saddle for the time being. And then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side.